Uh, I request you that we stand and we start our next session. Yeah. First of all, I'm going to repeat your letters. Could be some of you are not in when we were calling these letters. And as we have said, sometimes these letters are very important and vital. And uh, it's not good that they pass, they pass being not noticed. So if you know someone who, whose letter has been uh, mentioned here, and perhaps he's, he or she is not in, it's good that you take the letter for him or her. Yeah, for example, we have this letter from Teacher Service Commission. Uh, seems to be, of course, an important letter which, which should uh, reach the owner in the correct time. So if you know Fred, uh, Frederick Muraya, Frederick Muraya, not Wilfred. Yeah, Wilfred Muraya, Wilfred Muraya. So if you know Wilfred Muraya, Wilfred Muraya, unless they have missed the address, or else he is not one of us and has a relative here in the church, this letter should have someone to take to the owner. So we, we have this one, Wilfred Muraya, and then uh, Gloria Wanjiro. Uh, Margaret Rogoro Nduaru and then Vincent Murioki. Also we have another one for Samuel Isaiah Obimbo. We have a note here from uh, from Brother Wanene. He says um, Remember the family of Brother Wanene in prayers. Uh, they have lost an uncle. Brother Wanene also has have a need before the Lord. Yeah, before we do that, we can open our hymn books. Number 170. As we wait for those that are outside. Yeah. Wimbo nambari mia moja sabini Living below in this all sinful world Hard it a comfort can afford Striping alone to pay the attention sure where could I go but to the Lord? Oh, where could I go? Where could I go? Seeking a you for my soul. Seeking a friend to help me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? Neighbors are kind, I love them everyone. We get along with sweet accord. But when my soul is man up from above, where could I go but to the Lord? Oh, where could I go? Where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Meeting a friend to help me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? 
Life that is bright, we praise our last holy arm. Comfort I get from God's own one. Yet when I feel the chilling hand of death, where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul, needing a friend to help me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? Yeah, I shall close our eyes and have a word of prayer. <clears throat> Precious Father, we join the singer. We also don't know where to go but to thee. Dear Lord, we bring all our needs before thee because we can go to no any other person but thee. And we know, Lord, you are always near us. You are nearer to hear our petitions, dear Father. And Lord, you are nearer to grant that which we request according to thy will. Precious Father, even now as we prepare to hear uh, the second uh, session of this meeting, we pray, Father, that you give us strength, dear Lord. You also give us uh, inner ears as we prayed in the morning and inner eyes, dear Father, that we may continue to know you because you said that you remove us until we become your stature. Precious Father, that is your word and I know th we know that this is your work and Father, we know that you are going to accomplish. Dear Father, we come together with the family of our brother Wanene as they have lost their uncle. Lord, such a time, Father, we know it's a difficult time to anyone who has lost, who, who, lost, who loses a, 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 a family member. Precious Father, when we lose our dear ones, dear Father, sometimes it grieves our hearts, dear Father, but all the answer is unto thee. One time, Father, you cried in, that, in, in the grave of Lazarus, but later, dear Father, because you are God, you called him out of the grave. Precious Father, wherever we are in this, uh, in this body, as human, dear Father, we are touched by these things sometimes. But Lord, you have also given us consolation in thy word that, Father, we grieve not as them that have no hope. Precious Father, now also Wanani says he has a need, dear Father, which is known by thee. And Lord, we pray, Father, that you grant it unto him, Father, so that he may continue, dear Father, to serve you. He may continue, dear Father, even to have deeper roots in thy word. Precious Father, also, Lord, is our prayer, Father, that, Lord, you may come to visit our brother, we know, Father, he has said here many times, he has not, Father, chant, he has not, Father, been ashamed to say that he is waiting for you. Sometimes, Father, we have seen him even uh, declaring it, oh, Father, into the whole world that he is waiting for you. Precious Father, may you come down and bless our brother with the Holy Spirit, dear Father, Lord, because we know the time is nigh. Precious Father, now we want to commit ourselves before thee, Lord, prepare our hearts, dear Father, and whatever we will hear from this pulpit, dear Father, may it be hidden in our hearts. Lord, now we commit ourselves, Father, may you be uh, the starter of this meeting, and at the end of it all, may honor and glory be unto thy name, for we pray like this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, as we wait for the pastor, let's go to the number 187. Yeah. One is seven. That God should love us in a such a sight should yearn to cheer my sorrow into joy, nor let you hear I bring to be nigh. How wonderful is love like thee, O Son of Jonah, such love, such love. 
Father, once again, Lord, Father, we look unto thee, precious Lord, for blessings. We look unto thee, our Heavenly Father, for help. Because, Lord, God Almighty, you've revealed it to us that, Lord, without you, Father, we can do nothing. Continue, Heavenly Father, to sink these things deep in our hearts, that, precious Lord, we may, Heavenly Father, be even as you have taught us to completely, Father, surrender ourselves and reach that perfect weakness that, Lord, you may become, Lord, thou, precious Lord, the perfect strength. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this great truth, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, even to know that you have a purpose in sending this message and it has also pleased thee Lord, that, Father, you reveal it to us and to keep us, Lord, in the middle of the way because, Lord, there is going to be the bright rapture. That bright tree, Heavenly Father, is prophesied to sprout another branch exactly like the one that was born by the same vine in the beginning. And dear Heavenly Father, I pray for every brother, every sister, that Lord, you, Father, clear this vision before every one of them to be able to see the inner things here, to be able to understand your mind and settle, Lord, in their hearts and have confidence, Lord, and Father, create patience in them as they wait upon the second coming of the Lord. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for separating us from this world. Thank you for your divine call that called us, Lord, Heavenly Father, from darkness into this light. Amen. Oh, God, Father, teach us to follow you even as you lead the way. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Yeah, God bless you very much. There is a scripture Wana that sana. we read as we were going out. Tulisoma, that was that was uh, Second Corinthians chapter five. Hiyo na wa pili, wa and we are going back there. Na hapo. Second Corinthians five. Wa pili, wa now we go back to that verse seventeen. Cha kumina saba. And I'm reading. Nasoma. Therefore. If any man be in Christ, that's where, that's uh, where we post. If any, any man, if any 
any man be in Christ. Kama mtu mtu yeyote akiwa ndani ya Kristo. Now you must not forget upaswi kusahau what we have always explained. Kile ambacho tumeeleza wakati wote what it means to be in Christ. Inavyomaanisha kuwa katika Kristo. If any man be in Christ. Mtu yeyote akiwa katika Kristo. That's right. Now, when it says Listen please. Sikizeni tafadhali. When it says any man. Inaposema mtu yeyote. Now I want you to get this statement. I don't know what it is. To escape you. Sitaki kitu chochote kikuponye. When it says if any man. Inaposema mtu yeyote. It's not talking. Listen. You better not miss this statement. Now, when it says even a man be in Christ, it is not talking about human being. It is not talking about what? Human being. And I want us to take that scripture and compare it with the beginning. May God help us and build us our faith around his word. That our faith be founded on the truth. Because you see, when you have the revelation of the word, you are not confused. You are not mixed up. Like the prophet says, we are not muddled up. See, you can see one thing from many corners. See, declaring that the whole the, the thing is true. Now, listen. If any man be in Christ, mtu yote akiwa ndani ya Kristo. There is that word there man. Kuna neno hilo hapo mtu. 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 You see? Now, here in Genesis Genesis 1, hapo hapa mwanzo mlango wa kwanza. Mlango wa kwanza wa mwanzo. Nataka mwanzo mlango wa kwanza. utege masikio yako vizuri. I want you to be very attentive. Nataka usikilize kwa makini sana. Now, remember we read Uh, Genesis 1 and I'm going to go and I'm going back to that to that, to that scripture Genesis 1 verse 26 and God said let us make man in our image man now, Let me let me ask you a question. Because it goes further to say after our likeness. A man in our likeness. Mtu kwa mfano wetu aliye ya mtu aliye sura sura yetu. I let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Na watawale samaki wa baharini. See? I hope you didn't eat ugali and mrisik. Natamani <laughs> kubugia ugali na mrisik. Mrisik I know makes one dose. Najua mrisik kufanya mtu alale. But there is no mrisik here. Unless brother Toet uh, has a keto and uh, came with a one full of with a good full of mrisik. Lakini hapa tuna mrisik isipokuwa ndugu Toet alikuja au kana ngombe na alikuja na kibuyu ya mrisik. <laughs> yeah, when I was a teacher, uh, we had uh, college in teachers. <laughs> so we would go to my house and make, you know, they themselves came from, some, some of them came from around the Shambas. So we would go to my house, uh, they, they come with the derema. And then, and murisik na murisik and then i had unga na mimi nilikuwa na unga and we would make ugali tungesonga ugali lunch time wakati wa so we eat ugali tunakula ugali derema derema uh, uh, and murisik murisik that is uh, the real murisik hiyo murisik yenyewe 
So when you go to class, you are marking a book. You realize, you realize you are asleep. And <laughs> so, but here I know there is no mercy. So be very attentive. These things are very serious. Imam is very, very serious. Right? Now, so God, let me ask a question. You know, God speaks wisdom. See? And this wisdom, the Bible says he kept it within himself. But it was for us. Now when the time comes for him to release that which he, he had for us. See? Right? It's like a child. See? You, you hide banana somewhere. See? When the child sees you opening that place, the child knows <laughs> there is going to come out something good. And that's how our God is. He kept, the Bible says he kept these things for us. In himself. They are not for everybody. Mambo haya si watu wote. Is for special people for us tell me the things that he speaks to us here see see the most respected bishop in the political circles bishop yule anayeshimwa sana katika ulimwengu wa siasa will he come one does one, one million kilometers near this. Atakaribia kilometer mia moja karibu na hii. Kujua hii? Kujua hii? Eh? Never and never. Hata wahi. And it's all hidden in this wonderful book. Na yote imefisho katika kitabu hiki cha ajabu. Which is the mind of God sketched here. Ambazo ni fikra za mungu zilizo andikuwa hapa. His own mind. Now, that's why it says, and Jesus opened their understanding that they may understand the what? The scripture. Because he saw there. And he also said, ignorance of the scriptures leads you into error. See? That's right. Now listen. Sasa sikizeni. Ah. Uh, so, hivyo, let us make man. Na tumfanye mtu. Now this was not another than man. Huyu hakuwa mtu wa udongo? No. La. No. La. Because the, the other than man comes in Genesis 2:7. Kwa sababu mtu wa udongo anakuja mwanzo kitabu cha pili kifungu cha 7. Yeah. That's another man. Huyo ni mtu wa udongo. See? He's called natural man. Anaitwa mtu wa asili. Mtu wa asili. An ordinary man. Mtu wa kawaida. And God was not making an ordinary man because an ordinary man would not be in the image of God. Na Mungu hakuwa anatengeneza mtu wa kawaida kwa kuwa mtu wa kawaida hawezi kuwa sura ya nani? Ya Mungu. Ya Mungu. God is not ordinary. Mungu si wa kawaida. So he was coming up with a supernatural man. Kwa hivyo alikuwa anatokea na mtu wa kiungu. See? And that's why na ndio sababu the same huyo huyo was to have dominion over the fish of the sea. Mtu huyo huyo alikuwa atawale samaki. Au awe na utawala awe na mamlaka na utawala juu. Awe na utawala juu ya samaki. And over bahanini. the fall of the air. Na ndege wa angani. And over the keto. Na wanyama. And over all the earth. Na juu ya inchi yote pia. And over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. Na juu ya kila chenye kutambaa kitambacho juu ya inchi. 27 says so man created. So God created man. Kwa hivyo Mungu akamumba mtu. In God's own image. Kwa sura yake mungu. Amen. He was a God man. Alikuwa mungu mtu. And he didn't have. He didn't have a, 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 a flesh. Na hakuwa na mwili. He didn't have a body. Hakuwa na mwili. Au nyama. 
the, 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 the temple in which he would live was a formed yet. Hekalu alilokuwa aishi ndani yake halikuwa limeumbwa bado au limetengenezwa bado? Yeah, halikuwa limetengenezwa. See? That's right. And he said the man, the man was male and female. Mtu huyo alikuwa kiume na kike. See? He was He was Christ and the church. Alikuwa ni Kristo na kanisa. Na kanisa lake. Na kanisa lake. It has make a man in our image. Hebu na tu tufanye mtu kwa sura yetu. You know, you know his You know his church was in him. Mnajua kanisa lake lilikuwa ndani yake. Kanisa lake lilikuwa ndani yake. In our image. Katika sura yetu. Kwa sura yetu. Uh, let them be male and female. Na hebu wawe kike na kiume. Right? Sawa. Let them be male and female. Hebu wawe kike na kiume. See? In our image. Kwa sura yetu. Let them be everything. Hebu wawe kila kitu. See? Now. Oh listen. Sikizeni. Let me put a very very a very very a very blunt question. Hebu nitoe niulize swali ambalo ni la ni Well, swali ambalo linakaa kama lisilo na nini? Na na hekima. Na hekima. Like and 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 na busara. Now, when Jesus was walking in this world. Sasa Yesu alipokuwa akitembea katika ulimwengu huu. Listen to my question. Sikizeni swali langu. When Jesus uh, I'll, I'll ask it in a way don't worry but when, I want you to see the picture. Nataka uone picha. When Jesus was, was walking in this world. Yesu alipotembea katika ulimwengu huu. See? If we would speak kind of kind of um, uh, literally. Kama tunge nena uh, wa amani Sijui wazi au tuseme well kind of we, we use a lag, we use a language that is a bit market language Tutumie lugha ambayo ni ya soko Kama ya sokoni When Jesus walked here Yesu alipotembea hapa we, uh, how, many, how many were they if we would speak Wali, like Paul says uh, like uh, foolishly Wao walikuwa wangapi kama Paul Kama Paul anasema kama tugenyea kama kiujinga Kiujinga si. Wao ha, walikuwa wangapi? Ha, how many were they? Walikuwa wangapi? Eh? Yeah? Eh? Yeah? Yeah? We would say two. Eh? Yeah? Male and <laughs> Where was, was in the church in him? Tungesema wawili. Where was his wife? Kanisa lake mke wake alikuwa wapi? <laughs> ndani yake. The church was in him. Kanisa lilikuwa ndani yake. She was here to come out of him. Lilikuwa bado halijatoka ndani yake. So we can say he was male and Kwa hiyo tunaweza kusema alikuwa kiume na kike. Although <laughs> ingawa the spirit of the female roho wa kike is the spirit of the male <laughs> ni roho wa kiume now you go to bible school and study that come, Eenda sasa come, shule come to me explain Eenda sasa shule, Eenda bibi, bibi, shule ya biblia usomee hiyo uje unieleze <laughs> that the spirit of the wife kwamba roho ya mke wake is really not a female spirit kwa kweli si roho wa kike is a male spirit ni roho wa kiume because we will pursue that truth So about to give what till here of where who you read Matthew 20 unasoma Mathayo mlango wa 20 or rather you read Matthew 10 au unasoma Mathayo mlango wa 10 you realize unatambua kwamba the spirit he tells the church anaambia kanisa you will be persecuted mtateswa telling who akiambia nini eh okay, the church akiambia kanisa telling the she akiambia kike you will be persecuted mtateswa Even you be brought before governor. Before the court. But don't be troubled what, what you'll say. Lakini msisumbuke kile mtasema. For it is not you that speak. Kwa kwa si nyinyi msema. You, you is who? The church. Nyinyi nani kanisa? But is the spirit of your father. Lakini ni roho wa baba yenu. So the spirit of the church. Kwa hivyo roho wa kanisa. Is the spirit of the husband. Ni roho wa mumewe. And it happens that the husband is is a father. Na inakuwa ya kwamba mume wake ni baba yake. Now how come now? How come you as a wife you have the spirit of your father not your husband? Inakuwaje basi wewe kama mke una roho wa baba yako wala si roho, si roho wa, wa, wa mume wako? Mm. But you see now that, that's where the whole thing is a mystery. Unaona hapo ndio kwa sababu jambo lote. Let me give ni, you, si. Let me help you with the answer. Wacha nikusaidie najibu. 
It's because ni kwa sababu the spirit of your father roho wa baba yako that you have ulie naye and the church is me we all call, say our father na sote tuna kanisa tunasema baba yetu when we pray tuombapo did he tell us when you pray say our husband who is in heaven je alitwambia tukiomba tuseme bwana yetu ulie mume wetu ulie mbinguni he says our father nasema baba yetu and who is praying na ni nani anayeomba the church kanisa so kwa hivyo then the question was how come kanisa lilikuwa basi How come the spirit your spirit is the spirit of your husband? Inakwaje basi roho wako ni roho wa mume wako? See? And here another scripture says Na hapa andiko lingine linasema that you have the spirit of your father. Baba una roho wa baba yako. Is it the spirit of your father or the spirit of your husband? Sasa huyu ni roho wa baba yako au ni roho wa mume wako? Tell him. Mwambie The spirit of my husband my, my husband and my father is the same person. Mume wangu na baba yangu ni mmoja. Amen and amen. Mwambie mume wangu na baba yangu happens to be inatukia kwamba ni ni mmoja. See. Also tell him pia mwambie he plays many roles to me. Yeye hucheza Uh, se, uh, eh, anacheza uh, sehemu se nyingi, nyingi kwangu sometimes wakati mwingine is my father yeye ni baba yangu other times nyakati zingine is my husband yeye ni mume wangu other times nyakati zingine is my brother yeye ni ndugu yangu the first born my first born brother ndugu yangu mzaliwa wa kwanza <laughs> amen and amen there are you know, you will have the, the bishop's head spin hapo utaacha kichwa cha bishop kikizunguka bishop kichwa chake itafanya nini itazunguka itazunguka but is it the truth lakini hiyo ni kweli yep kabisa our religion is not a, a newspaper dini yetu si gazeti is complex ni ngumu is not like hindu si kama kihindu ours is complex yetu ni ngumu is deep ni akilindi Sabar will say if you prefer I don't understand you. Mtu atasema nyinyi watu siwaelewi. Atasikia asema mimi nyinyi watu sielewi. Either you have a problem? Pengine nyinyi mna shida. You don't know what you are talking about? Hamjui mnachosema. Or you are not human being. Au nyinyi si wanadamu. But it is good. Lakini vizuri that he tailored our faith in such a way. Kwamba alitunga alielekea. Alitunga dini yetu kwa jia kwamba only Only his children can unravel. Ni watoto wake pekee wanaanza kungamua fumbo hizo. Amen. Now, a man. Mtu. So God created a man. Kwa hivyo Mungu akaumba mtu. In his image. Kwa sura yake. That means if he was in the image of God. Yeye inamaanisha kama mtu huyo alikuwa katika sura ya Mungu. Then he was not a human being. Basi hakuwa mwanadamu. Because he curses a human being kwa sababu analaani mwanadamu and he curses the way he is born na analaani jinsi alivyozaliwa amen so it says man kwa hivyo inasema mtu when it says man here in genesis inaposema mtu hapa katika kitabu cha mwanzo remember he didn't even have a body kumbuka hata hakuwa na mwili So when it is this man it is not talking about an ordinary human being haineni juu ya mwanadamu wa kawaida no la no and no hiyo ni la now and then Halafu. when you come back to this uh, second corinthians sasa ukirudi ukirudi kwa hiyo korinto wa pili chapter 5 verse 17 mlango wa 5 kifungu cha 17 it says inasema Therefore if any man be in Christ mtu yeyote akiwa ndani ya Kristo now man that is born of a woman of a woman mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mwanamke say that again mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mwanamke man mwanadamu au mtu born of a woman aliyezaliwa na mwanamke is of few days na siku chache and full of trouble na zilizo ja tabu okay sawa he carries death in himself anabeba kifo ndani yake and death is uh, prompted by sin na kifo huletwa na dhambi are we together kwa pamoja right so sawa. is that man that is that the man that can be in Christ sasa huyo ndiye mtu anaweza kuwa ndani yake Kristo of few days wa siku chache and in Christ is no death na ndani ya Kristo hamna kifo 
Now, death is brought by sin. Kifo huletwa na dhambi. And this man is a few days because of sin. Na mtu huyu na siku chache kwa sababu ya dhambi. And in Christ, na ndani ya Kristo, it's not in Christ is no sin. Ndani ya Kristo hamna dhambi. So can you have a man born of sin Sasa, a few days in Christ then you have death in Christ and sin in Christ? Sasa, unaweza kuwa na mtu wa siku chache. Was, unaweza kuwa na mtu wa siku chache ana aliyekifo ndani ya Kristo ndani ya Kristo aliyekifo aliye na dhambi ndani ya Kristo ababu hakuna kifo na hakuna dhambi because he said in him as he says i am the way the truth and the life na uzima Eternal life. Uzima wa Eternal life which comes by your sins having been taken away. Uzima wa ambao huja dhambi zako zikishaondolewa. And then you receive eternal life. Alafu unapokea uzima wa milele. So in him is no sin. Kwa ndani yake hamna dhambi. In him is no death. Ndani yake hamna kifo. See? Then you have a man that is in Christ. Alafu ina mtu kama huyo ndani ya Kristo. That is listen. That is not the man we are talking about here. He's not the man that we are talking about here in this Corinthians 5:17. Neither is he the man that is saying back there that God created man. Wala wala si mtu huyo ambaye inasema hapo katika kitabu cha mwanzo ambapo inasema Mungu aliumba mtu. Mungu akaumba mtu. Not the man you know about. Si mtu yule unajua juu yake. See? And let me tell you something else before I take you further. So the man that God came up with, mtu ambaye Mungu alitokea naye was a man with authority. Alikuwa ni mtu mwenye mamlaka. Clear? Sawa. He had the power of a creation. Alikuwa na mamlaka juu ya uumbaji. And it's the same kind of a man. Na ina hiyo 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 ya mtu that we are reading about here in in Corinthians. Ambaye tunasoma juu yake hapa katika Korinto. That man mtu huyo with the power alie na uweza with aliyekuwa aliyekuwa na uweza with authority aliyekuwa na mamlaka created by God aliyeumbwa na Mungu. See? Or that came by an act of creation au aliyokuja kutokana Ali, na alikuja alikuja kutokana na tendo la uumbaji la ubaji and the way god created him na vile mungu alimuumba the prophet says nabii anasema that god looked at the, that man baba mungu alimtazama mtu huyo and he said that's me na akasema huyo ni mimi i have created something of myself nimeumba kitu kutoka kwa mimi mwenyewe is the same listen let's read here you will see hapa 17 again he has first corinthians first corinthians or second corinthians 2517 wa korinto wa pili mlango wa 5 wa kifungu cha 17 let's read let's Tusome. read further tusome zaidi therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creature he is a new yeye ni kiumbe kipya he is a new creature yeye ni kiumbe kipya He is not naturally born. Yeye hakuzaliwa kikawaida. A man that is in Christ, mtu aliye ndani ya Kristo, has not been brought forth through natural birth. Haja haja hajakuja kupitia kuzaliwa kwa kawaida. Kwa kawaida. He is a new creature. Yeye ni kiumbe kipya. We can say, tunaweza kusema, a man that is in Christ is a creature. Mtu aliye ndani ya Kristo ni kiumbe. Ni kiumbe. See? A man that is in Christ mtu aliye ndani ya Kristo is not got uh, is not gotten by natural birth hapatikani hapatikani kwa kuzaliwa kwa kawaida is a creature yeye ni kiumbe and he cannot be a creature Na. unless there is he has a creator ana hawezi kuwa kiumbe isipokuwa kuwe na muumbaji hey, au kama hakuna muumbaji hawezi kuwa kiumbe isipokuwa kuwe na kuwe na muumbaji See? A man in Christ, mtu ndani ya Kristo, see, is gotten by creation. Amepatikana kupitia kuumbwa. Amen. Now that man there, mtu huyo pale, 
that was created by God was in the image of God in the likeness of God also was obtained through an act of creation. See? Amen. Now, he's a new creature. Amen. Do you know Oh, we speak the wisdom of God in a what? In a mystery. Kwa siri is mystery. mystery because it's mystery. See? see? You can see it's mystery. Now, it's God's grace. God to sit us here kutuketisha hapa and pull out and pull out from this Bible na atua, na kutoka, kutoka, kutoka kwa hii Biblia riches utajiri mkuu great riches utajiri mkuu si. riches that when you compare this with the, word, vikwamba, with the word out there the denominations utajiri vikwamba ukiulinganisha na madhebu hii na kile abacho kinaeleshwa na nini na madhebu denomination disappear madhebu yanatoweka si if this be kama hii ikiwa if this be if this be kama hii ikiwa the truth kweli and it is true na ni kweli because every scripture bears record of the other kwa sababu mm. kila andiko linashuhudia ama ni la lingine ile lingine si and it's true na ni kweli let me tell you hebu niwaambie and it cannot be any other way but what we are saying na haiwezi kuwa kwa njia nyingine haiwezi ila hivi vile tunaisema like my own class one teacher. Kama yule mwalimu wa zamani wa darasa la kwanza. Even if you go to Britain. Hata uende Ulaya. Or you go where? Au ende mahali pote. There is no other way. Ah kuna njia nyingine. See. Be in Christ. Even a God, even a man be in Christ. Mtu yeyote akiwa ndani ya Kristo. And man is not human being. Na hapa mtu so I want you I want you to remove the picture maybe you have had all along. Nataka uondoe picha. Kwa hivyo nataka uondoe picha ambayo pengine umekuwa nayo wakati wote that uh, at you can be in Christ. Kwamba ati wewe kama mwanadamu unaweza kuwa ndani ya Kristo. You can't. Huwezi. See? You can't. Huwezi. In Christ is no human beings. Ndani ya Kristo hakuna wanadamu. Hakuna nini? Wanadamu. Si. Because sababu, and we are going to read further na tutasoma tutasoma zaidi uone. Because kwa sababu you are not only in him hauko hauko tu. Hauko tu ndani yake. He is also supposed to be in you. Yeye pia anapaswa kuwa ndani yako. Not only you in him and him in you. Sio tu wewe ndani yake na yeye ndani yako. You and him supposed to be one. Wewe na yeye mnapaswa kuwa mmoja. Not only that. Na si hiyo tu. So that him ili yeye and the bride and the bride na bibi harusi be of the same material. Wawe wakifaa kimoja. You see? See. You know we don't believe in that religion where you come here you sit here here after here oh I don't know what like the these so called message people are being cheated by their false preachers. Mnaja si afamili ile dini ya kuja hapa kila mwaka na kuketi hapa na kuendelea kama vile hao wanaojiita waamini wa ujumbe wanataka Oh you are waiting for the bridegroom. Unagoja bibi yao you are the bride because you are baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kumbe yeye nyinyi ni bibi harusi kwa sababu mmebazwa katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. And you profess the message. Na nakiri ujumbe. Na unakiri ujumbe. Oh you are okay. Oh mko sawa. Something has to change. Kitu lazima kibadilike. And that's the same thing. Na ni kitu hicho hicho. Listen, listen to this. Do you know the Bible is consistent? Je, mnajua ya kwamba Biblia ina uendelevu? Scripture has to tie with the scripture. Andiko lazima lifungamane na ile andiko lingine. Now, to be now when it says he is a new creature. Inaposema ye mtu huyo ni kiumbe kipya. It simply means kwa inamaanisha He is born again. Amezaliwa mara ya pili. He is not not that old birth. Yeye si si yeye si kule kuzaliwa kwa zamani. 
he is he has obtained a new birth amepokea kuzaliwa kupya this time wakati huu is born by a new parent amezaliwa na mzazi mpya this time wakati huu he is born supernaturally amezaliwa kiungu new 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 kila kitu kipya 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 ni mpya ni mpya new birth kuzaliwa kupya new parent mzazi mpya and that's another, another strange thing you the, the old bird involved parents kule kuzaliwa kwa kwa zamani kulihusisha wazazi his old bird involved the parents kuzaliwa kwake kwa zamani kulihusisha wazazi that you may know that this bird is really new ili ujue kwamba kuzaliwa huku kwake kabisa ni kupya he has one parent ana mzazi mmoja tu We have heard of such a bird. Nani wao kusikia ujua kuzaliwa? Nani aliwahi kusikia mtu yuko na baba lakini hana mama? Amen. Because it's a new thing. Kwa sababu ni mambo mapya. There are not uh, other things. Si mambo ya dunia. Heavenly things. Ni mambo ya kimbinguni. No wonder ask him, where is your father? Si ajabu kimuuliza babako yuko wapi? My father died. No, he, he doesn't die. Hata babangu alikuwa wake hafi. Si, ti baba yako alikufa. Wa huyu hafi. Amen. Amen. Where does he live? Yeye huishi wapi? In heaven. Mbinguni. Amen. See. See. Amen. How old are you? Wewe una umri gani? I'm eternal. Mimi ni wa milele. I have no beginning. Sina mwanzo. Because as a, as his child kama mtoto wake he was eternal aye alikuwa milele and because every child was in the father before he was born kwa sababu kila mtoto kwa sababu kila mtoto alikuwa ndani ya baba kabla kuzaliwa au si the father nilikuwa ndani ya baba see he only separate see now look. he only manifested me kila alifanya tu ni kunidhihirisha ni kudhihirisha so that i don't i'm not in him throughout ili nisikae ndani yake wakati wote he love to see alipenda kuona to see me playing around alipenda Ali, aniona alipenda kuona mtoto wake akicheza cheza and playing with the other children na akicheza pamoja na watoto and coming wengine. to church with the other children na akija kanisani pamoja na watoto wake wengine see amen and amen see that is how If you want to call it funny that's how funny our religion is. Ukitaka kuiita ya kuchekesha hivyo ndivyo dini yetu ilivyo ya kuchekesha basi. It's odd. No yeah, wonder. No wonder. Si ajabu. The Holy Spirit preached that message and said we are odd balls. Si ajabu Roho Mtakatifu alirudi alihubiri ujumbe ule akasema sisi ni wa kipekee. Si. Sema sisi wa pekee. We are odd balls. Sisi ni wa kipekee. And we are. Na ndivyo tulivyo. Si. A man in Christ. Mtu aliye ndani ya Kristo. He is a new creature. Yeye ni kiumbe kipya. In other words, yani see, he's been created anew. Yaani ameumbwa upya. See. Is not the old creature. Yeye si si yule kile kiumbe cha zamani. See. He's a new creature. Yeye ni kiumbe kipya. There is a song we sing here. Kuna wimbo ambao huwa tunaimba hapa. Let me show you. Hebu nuwaonyeshe. Na this number 55 here. Wimbo huu namba 55 hapa. In the, the last in the last uh, in the last uh, verse there it says well well that is in that land katika nchi hiyo katika nchi hiyo the bear will be gentle ah mbwe uh, du, dubu dubu atakuwa mpole and the wolf will be tame na mbwe atakuwa tu kama mnyama wa nyumbani and the lion shall lay down by the lamb oh yes na simba atalala kando ya mwana kondoo ndio Well, the beast from the world shall be led by a little child mnyama wa mwituni ataongozwa na mtoto mdogo Well I know what you are asking you mean there will be children No It is just kind of a comparative comparative statement Ni maneno ya kulinganisha Ni maneno ya kulinganisha That's 
that the, the lion shall be so tame kwamba yani simba atakuwa mtulivu sana that a little child could, 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 could lead it anaanza kumwongoza not that there will be little children si eti kwamba kutakuwa na watoto wadogo jesus said in heaven yeso alisema huko mbinguni they neither marry hawaoi nor are given in marriage wala hawaoani amen si dio namna hiyo so it's a comparative thing kwa ni kitu cha kulinganisha and i will be changed changed from this creature that i am oh yes na nitabalishwa kutoka kwa kiumbe hiki nilicho ndio si in other words my body yani mwili wangu even my body everything will be new hata mwili wangu kila kitu kitakuwa kipya si if anybody be in christ mtu yeyote akiwa ndani ya kristo is a new creature yeye ni kiumbe kipya now here <coughs> All the things are passed away. Mambo ya kale yamepita. Behold all things are become new. Tazama mambo yote yamekuwa mapya. All the things are passed away. Mambo ya kale yamepita. New creature. Kiumbe kipya. There is another song here we, we sing. Kuna wimbo mwingine hapa ambao sisi huimba. This song he abides wimbo huu ambao unasema yeye hukaa he abides yeye hukaa oh you ndani you ndani yangu yeye you ndani yangu he abides that's number number 139 let's see nambari 139 ah uh, I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the pilgrim way pilgrims and sojourners Now look look, look here his, his children are pilgrims and sojourners Watoto wake ni wageni na wasafiri Na wasafiri See Why Kwa nini Now they are looking for their own land They are looking for their, their own country Wanatafuta nchi yao wenyewe For here kwa kuwa hapa they have no continuing city hawana mji unaoendelea mji wa kudumu hapa hawana mji wa kudumu they are looking for one to come wanatafuta mmoja so they are few grains and sojourners kwa hiyo wao ni wageni na wasafiri si si that's right And the reason of my bliss yes the secret all is this that the comforter abides with me new creature kiume kipya see once my heart was full of sin once i had no peace within till i heard how jesus died upon the cross Then I fell down at his feet and there came a peace so sweet now the comforter abides with me He is with me everywhere and he knows my every care I am as happy as a bird and just as free for the spirit has control Jesus satisfy my soul since the comforter abide with me there is no fasting there is no fasting for the things of the world they've taken wings all the things are passed away they've taken wings long ago i gave them up and instant pole pole yeah yeah see is a baby Is a baby born the whole day? Je, mtoto uzaliwa siku nzima? See? Let it be born that way you can as well start digging the grave. <laughs> Akizaliwa hivyo anza kuchimba kaburi. And the mother's life will also be at stake. Na pia maisha uhai wa mama utakuwa hatarini. See? See? Amen and amen. Ke pole pole. Pole pole. Sikiliza manabii wa uongo wa upri wa ujube listen to false prophets of the message 
You eat the word slowly. Unakula, you eat the word. You eat the word. Unakula neno pole pole. Unakula neno na kula neno. You eat the word. You eat the word. Unakula neno. See, and slowly. Na pole pole. Slowly by slowly. Pole 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 pole. You receive the Holy Ghost. Na pokea rom takatifu. Doesn't even nature rebuke you, preacher? Je, hata maumbile yenyewe hayakukemei. Maumbile wewe, maumbile muongo wewe, maumbile haikukemei. Are you not lying to people? Je, huwadanganyi watu? The Bible says doesn't even nature teach you. Biblia inasema hata maumbile hayao. Maumbile yenyewe hayakufundishi. Si. Si. There is no fasting for the things of the world they have taken wings. Long ago I give them up and instantly all my night was turned to day all my burdens rolled away now the comforter is a new creature all things are passed away See, if any man be in Christ is a new creature He's created anew. Now I don't want you to forget this. That when God created the See now look. When God created the first man who was in his image in his likeness. Mungu alipoumba mtu wa kwanza alikuwa katika mfano wake katika sura yake. Aliyekuwa katika mfano wake katika sura yake. Right? Sawa. See. That man mtu huyo came As a, uh, as a result of God's own act. Alikuja kutokana na tendo la Mungu mwenyewe. And I also want to add here. Na pia nataka kuongeza hapa. You remember very well. Mnakumbuka vizuri. Okay. Who was the mother of Adam? Nani alikuwa mama ya Adam? Mama ya Adam alikuwa nani? Hakuwa na mama. So the his first creation. Kwa hivyo uumbaji wake wa kwanza did involve a woman. Haukuhusisha mwanamke? And his first child na mtoto wake wa kwanza had no mother hakuwa na mama Now listen sasa sikiliza sikiliza his second creation uumbaji wake wa pili the child has no mother mtoto hana mama amen 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 and amen now and because he had no mother na kwa sababu hakuwa na mama that child was itano mtoto huyo alikuwa wa milele alikuwa wa milele you know even when he came to die unajua hata alipokuja kufa si god only said mungu alisema tu to the earth you are taken kutokana kwa mafumbi ulitwaliwa kwa mabudi kwa mabubi ulitwaliwa but we know the guy that he got from the the earth lakini tunajua jamaa mwenyewe hakutolewa kwa mafumbi tunajua yule jamaa aliyetolewa kwa nini it was the body ni mwili but the guy that he created lakini yule jamaa aliyeumba he never sent him to the earth hakumtuma kwa mafumbi amen and you na wewe the new creature kiumbe kipya the holy ghost daughter of god roho mtakatifu binti ya mungu amen When you leave that body. Ukiacha mwili huo. Amen. We, do, we don't dare. Hatuthubutu. Hatuthubutu. To send your spirit. See. Hatuthubutu kutuma roho yako. We send your body. Tunatuma mwili wako. See. And we throw what? Mchanga. We throw soil. Tunatupa mafumbi mchanga. See. See. Does thou art wewe ni mafumbi brother let me tell you we, rem, even if you not be around hata kama utakuweko if you are daughter of god child of god kama ni binti ya mungu mtoto wa mungu don't worry usijali we shall not throw your soul your soul <laughs> to the dust hatutatupa nafsi yako kwa mavumi your soul belongs to god nafsi yako ni ya mungu when you receive the holy ghost we say you have god's own soul tunasema una nafsi ya mungu mwenyewe that sin is not isiyotenda dhambi amen And up there. Na huko juu. They said one day. Wasema siku moja. We shall go back to earth. Tutarudi duniani. And pick up pick our body. Na tuchukue mili yetu. And live forever. Na tuishi milele. See? Amen. The man. Mtu. See? Now the first man. Sasa mtu wa kwanza. That God created. Ambaye Mungu aliumba. Had no mother. Hakuwa na mama. And he was not subject to death. Na haku, haku na mauti. The second man. Mtu wa pili, that God creates today. Mungu leo, 
has no mother. Hana mama. Always says my father in heaven. Yeo katoto usema baba yangu aliye mbinguni. And is not also subject to death. Na yeye pia hapatwi na mauti. Amen. Sim. Old things are passed away. Mambo ya kale yamepita. Behold all things are become new. Tazama mambo yote yamekuwa mapya. See. And all things are of God who has reconciled to himself by Jesus Christ you can see Naza. how this guy Naza. how this how this guy has attained this. Naweza kuona jinsi mtu huyu amepata hali hali hiyo. See by Jesus Christ. Kupitia Yesu he came, Kristo. He believed in him. Alimwamini and as many as believed Jesus Christ Na wote wale muamini Yesu Kristo He gave them power the Holy Ghost Akawapa uweza Roho Mtakatifu They became God's children Wakafanyika watoto wa Mungu And God is a spirit Na Mungu ni roho He gave them eternal life Akawapa uzima wa milele There you are Ndio hiyo And he and God Na yeye na Mungu You know reconciliation Unajua upatanisho yeah. Where they were apart with God Mahali walikuwa kando kando na Mungu wametengana na Mungu they, they, they get reconciled Wakapatanishwa Wanapatanishwa mm -hmm. He receives the father spirit Anapokea roho wa baba And him and the father Na ye, na yeye na baba are again back together tena wanarudiana wa, wamerudiana mm -hmm. because of what separate them in the first place that God sin has been taken care of kwa sababu kile kilichotenganisha mara ya kwanza wao ni dhambi kimeshughulikiwa kimeshughulikiwa and now he receives the father's spirit na sasa anapokea roho ya baba and becomes child of the father na anafadhika mtoto wa baba and as father is a spirit na kwa kwa ana kama vile baba ni roho he is not given the spirit of body again to fear yeye hapewi roho wa utumwa aletaye hofu but he is given the spirit of adoption to make him God's child lakini anapewa roho wa kumfanya mwana na kuwa mtoto wa Mungu and that's what he was predestined to be we were predestined to be sons na hivyo ndivyo alichokusudiwa kuwa alikusudiwa kuwa tulikusudiwa kuwa nini wana and holy na watakatifu Jagon. Hiyo ni fumbo. Si. Si mzunguko. <laughs> wenyewe. Mzunguko wenyewe. Huyu ni mzunguko wenyewe. Au mnataka tuanze kuiba hizo. <laughs> Tuache hii. <laughs> Do we leave this we go for that? Hapana. <laughs> si. Remember bodily exercise profiteth Nadi. Kumbuka mazoezi ya mwili haina faida yoyote. Haifai 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 chochote. We can come here and dance and stand. Naweza kuja hapa tukaje. How sisters come here and dance for us? Kina dada haja hapa tucheze kweli kweli. After you are so tired. Baada ya kuchoka sana, you meet God he sends you to hell. Unakutana na Mungu anakutuma jehanamu. He doesn't record your dancing. Hatambui hata kucheza. Uh, oh even kwa even kwa. If, even though even if you thought you are dancing for for him. Hata kama ulidhani unamchezea yeye. Oh may God be praised. Mungu asifiwe. See. He brought me out of the mire clay. He sent my feet on the rock to stay. He put a song in my soul today. A song of praise. Hallelujah. From the Marikle, you know my. Toka kwa tope lenye. Ire matope ire. We fugua. Open one of the septic tanks around here. Fugua moja ya hii mashimu ya nalekea majitaka. Majitaka. Where they have no sewage. Ambapo hawana ile sewage. Mahali abapo, they are not corrected, you see. Aja unganishwa na hii sewage yenyewe. You open like this. Fugua hivi. Si. Mkorogo wenyewe. Hmm. Tope. That's where we were. Hapo ndipo tulikuwa. How we survived? Jinsi hata tuli. It's just straight. Msalia tuko hai ni mema ya Mungu. How we survived there? Jinsi tulikaa huko. How we didn't suffocate? Jinsi hatukunyongwa tukafa huko? Si. But he made sure. Lakini alihakikisha. Some uh, he preserved us. Kwa njia fulani alituhifadhi until he came. Mpaka akaja. Si. Si. I, I was near in despair when he 
and he showed me the time to be free. Then he lifted my hand, gave me glory complete. imagine what we were wazia kile tulichokuwa horrible chafu wenyewe mbaya in despair katika hali ya kukata tamaa see but don't worry lakini msijali see i've seen people who uh, who carry garbage nimeona watu ambao hubeba takataka wale watu ambao wanabeba takataka uh, when they empty the, the sack wanapo wakimwaga wanapo mwaga wakimwaga wakimwaga ataka kwa guni kutoka kwa gunia they 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 turn they they turn wanakoroga koroga ya kwa that there is any spoon you threw there by mistake waone kama kuna kijiko ulitupa kama kuna kijiko ulitupa hapo kwa makosa or a cup au kikombe or anything valuable au kichochote chenye thamani and if you look at those people na ukiangalia watu hao they carry an extra empty bag kwa anakuwa na gunia la kando tupu to put anything valuable anything valuable weka chochote cha thamani humo ndani he can take that spoon and eat with it hawezi kuchukua kijiko hicho akitumia kula he washes it anakiosha but finally mwishore, that spoon lies at his table kijiko hicho kinaishia kinaishia mezani mwake and is valuable to him na ni cha thamani kwake inakuwa cha thamani kwake sana see see amen he he uses he uses it anakitumia like he, it has never been kan, kan, among the garbage kana kwamba hakijawahi kuwa miongoni mwa takataka mm. that just like you kama wewe tu he says you are since are thrown into sea, sea of forget anasema dhambi zako zimetupwa katika bahari ya kusahau mm. there are sins we, i i remember no dhambi zao zitakumbuka tena You see? Now. And all things and all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. By Jesus Christ. Kwa Yesu Kristo. See? By Jesus Christ. Kwa Yesu Kristo. Who has reconciled to himself by Jesus Christ. Ambaye ametupatanisha na yeye mwenyewe kwa njia ya Yesu Kristo. See? And who is Jesus Christ? Na Yesu Kristo ni nani? Is God turning around? Ni Mungu akigeuka to become Jesus Christ. Fanyika Yesu Kristo. His salvation for us. Wokofu wake kwetu. He didn't entrust it to any other person. Haukuaminia mtu mwingine, haukumwaminia mwingine. Wokofu wetu wakumwaminia mwingine. Although the unbelievers think that he sent his son. Ingawa wasiwamini wanadhani kwamba alituma mwanae. Read your Bible well. Soma Biblia kwa vizuri uone the son that he sent is mwana. actually if you turn around became the son. Yule mwana aliyetuma ni yeye. Yeye kabisa aliyegeuka kuwa nani? Huyo bwana. Mm. Si. Si. And our, and our father today na baba yetu leo is the same is the same son ni mwana huyo huyo amen when back alirudi to be our father kwa baba yetu see that's why ndio sababu well uh uh i think uh, it's somebody i think brother branham was we see he didn't know because this trinity thing nafikiri ndugu rana anasema hakujua kuhusu huyu utatu you know who, who, who to pray watengi wa muombe nani and they and they 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 decided to uh, to allot nao huamua kutenga kutenga uh -huh. uh, each uh, certain time for the father nyakati fulani baba wakati fulani amombe baba, baba another and so many minutes kaka, to the son and so many wana. minutes to the holy ghost so that none is left what <laughs> feeling ile yote asiachwe akisikia kwamba 
Ame, uh, he has been discriminated against. Ame baguliwa. <laughs> oh glory. Utukufu. See. See. He that has the son has the father also. Aliena mwana ana baba pia. He that has the son has the father also. Aliena mwana ana baba pia. Yeah. And you know that is one of the great truths that Satan had, had clouded. The church had that truth in the beginning. But here in, the, in between, Satan tried to cloud and mix up the word. But in this day, Amen, it's the truth from Genesis to Revelation. Mm. The church with a true word and power is going to do the very acts of power that Jesus did. Oh, that's right. Now, reconciling uh, reconciling us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given unto us the ministry also of reconciliation. Ya upatanisho. You see, you and God must be one. Now, we are preaching about this another time here. That any genuine minister, his ministry has got is got to be a ministry of telling you you must be born again. That you and God, God wants you and Him to be one. He wants to give you Himself. That you and Him become one. Reconciliation. You see. That's right. That's exactly. Now, I want us to, to let's get another scripture. I want to read, to read Galatians chapter 6. Galatians 6. Look for verse 15. For in Christ, in Christ Jesus, when you are in Christ Jesus, to be in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availed anything nor uncircumcision but a new creature in, what does it say for in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision in Christ Katika Kristo is a new creature. Ni kiumbe kipya. Is it that what we read here in Corinthians? Je, na si hivyo hivyo tulisoma katika wa Korintho wa pili? To be in Christ kuwa katika Kristo is to be created anew. Ni kuumbwa upya. To be in Christ kuwa katika Kristo is to be created anew by God and he creates you anew, anew by giving you his spirit. That's new creation. His act of creation is the same way he created the first son. His first son was created by God by an act of God, uh, of God releasing a part of himself. That's why the prophet says, God, God, God looked and said, that's me. Looking at Adam, a spirit man, his own spirit, that's me. 
I have created something of of, of myself. Nimeomba kitu kutoka kwa mimi mwenyewe. That's exactly. See? In Christ. Katika Kristo. See? And that's what Jesus was praying. Na hicho ndicho Yesu alikuwa akiomba. Here in John 17. Hapa katika Yohana mlango wa 17. We were there. Let's read just a, a small portion quickly. Tulikuwa hapo. Hebu tusome sehemu ndogo kwa haraka. John 17. Yohana mlango wa 17. Now if you look at verse 20 there Sasa ukiangalia kifungu cha 20 hapo Neither pray for this alone but for them also we shall believe on me through their word that they all may be one they they all may be one Kwamba wote wawe mmoja Now look here Angaliani hapo All may be one Kwamba wote wawe mmoja Now if His spirit in you is his child. Kama roho wake ndani yako ndiye mwana mtoto wake. Say that again. Kama roho wake ndani yako ndiye mtoto wake. And his spirit in the other person is his child. Na roho wake ndani yule mtu mwingine ni mtoto wake. Then his children basi watoto wake are one. Ni mmoja. Are the same. Wanafanana. Now listen. Then his children are one. Basi watoto wake ni mmoja. Each one is a spirit. Kila mmoja wao ni roho wake. Kila mmoja ni roho wake. Hmm. Now, and then Alafu in this message we are uh, uh, studying here the other time. Katika ujumbe huu tuliokuwa tukijifunza hapo That is the spoken word is the original seed. Yaani neno lilo neno ndio mbegu ya asili. There the prophet says. Hapo nabii anasema All God's children wana wa Mungu wote must remember the word is nakumbuka neno ni must, lazima must be the same lazima wafanane wana wa Mungu wote lazima wafanane and Jesus says here na Yesu anasema hapa that all may be one baba wote wawe mmoja and there he says the Holy Spirit says na pale Roho Mtakatifu anasema All God's sons must be the same. Wana wa Mungu wote lazima wafanane. <coughs> the same. Lazima wafanane. Each one of them. Kila mmoja wao, kila mmoja. God spirit. Roho wa Mungu. Each one of them God spirit. Kila mmoja wao, roho wa Mungu. And the word is must. Na neno ni lazima. Lazima wafanane. Hmm. And so all must be born again. Kwa hivyo wote lazima wazaliwe mara ya pili. To make that body kutengeneza mwili huo the mystic body mwili wa siri they cannot be members therein hawezi kuwa washirika humo unless they are put there by the baptism of the holy ghost isipokuwa waingizwe humo na ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu see neither pray for this alone but for them also we shall believe on me through their word that they all may be one as thou father art in me and i in thee See, him and the father are not two is one. Yeye na baba si wawili ni mmoja. And he says, anasema As him and the father are one. Kama yeye na baba walivyo mmoja. They are the same person. Wao ni nafsi moja. That they also be one. Kwamba wao pia wawe mmoja. The same thing, same material. Kitu hicho hicho kifaa hicho hicho. Not two things but one. Sio vifaa vitu viwili bali kimoja. Bali kitu kimoja. See. That they may be one in us. Kwamba wawe mmoja ndani yetu. One in us. Mmoja ndani yetu. We are not two. Sisi si wawili. And then being one with us. Na wao wakiwa mmoja na sisi. One in us. Wakiwa mmoja ndani yetu. What? See, I I and my father are one. Mimi na baba yangu ni mmoja. So I Kwa hivyo mimi And that child na mtoto yule be one tuwe mmoja what i am yes nilicho awe hicho like what i am the father is kama nilicho ndicho baba alicho what the father is i am kilo baba alicho ndicho mimi niko and the father and me and two is one person na baba na mmoja si wawili bali nafsi that they also be ba- become that person with us kwamba wawe pia wafanyike nafsi hiyo na sisi see amen i am spirit mimi ni roho <coughs> My father is spirit. Baba yangu ni roho. 
am spirit of the Father. Mimi ni roho wa baba. See, amen. And they, are, they become spirit of the, of the Father also. Na wao wafanyike pia roho wa baba. Amen. See. Amen and amen. For it's the, it's the spirit of your father that speaketh in you. Kwa kwa ni roho wa baba yenu asemaye ndani yenu. See. Even when you say our father which art in heaven hata mkisema baba yetu unaposema unaposema baba yetu aliye mbinguni it's not you human beings calling god your father si nyinyi wanadamu mnayemuita god cannot be father to human beings kwa kwa mungu haizi kwa baba wa wanadamu he can only be called father by his spirit anaweza tu kuitwa baba na roho yake mwenyewe amen that's right you see naona And the glory which thou givest me I have given them that they may be one even as we are one colons the glory that thou givest me na mimi utukufu ule ulionipa mimi si nimewapa wao God became flesh Mungu alifanyika mwili and we saw his glory na tukaona utukufu wake Amen. Amen. We saw his glory. Tukaona utukufu wake We don't have two glories Hatuna utukufu aina mbili See, we don't have two who are glorious. Hatuna wawili walio watukufu. We have we got only one who is glorious. Tunaye mmoja tu aliye mtukufu. And that is God. Na huyo ni Mungu. Now he is here he is saying. Sasa hapa anasema that he gives us kwamba anatupa his glory. Utukufu wake. The, the glory of the Father. Utukufu wa Baba. He gives us. Anatupa huo. See. We are a spirit. Sisi tu roho wake. We are his holiness. Sisi tu utakatifu wake. We are his glory. Sisi ni utukufu wake. We are his eternity. Sisi ni umelele wake. We are his nature. Sisi tu tabia yake. Amen. See? The glory. Utukufu. See? I'm coming to finish up something there. Tarudi kumaliza kitu hapo. Now if you look at Ephesians. Sasa ukiangalia waefeso I will read you Ephesians 5:27. Tutasomea wa Efeso mlango wa 5 kifungu cha 27. 5:27. Wa Efeso mlango wa 5 kifungu cha 27. I'm reading. Nasoma. It is about the church. Ni kuhusu kanisa. The church. Kanisa. It says, Nasema that he might present it the church to himself. A glorious church. Apate? Apate kujeletea kanisa tukufu. A glorious church. Kanisa tukufu. She is the very glory of God. Kanisa ni utukufu wa Mungu mwenyewe. She has no glory of her own. Kanisa haina utukufu wake mwenyewe. She is the same material we Kani, with Christ. Kanisa ni kifaa kimoja na Kristo. And his gro glorious Jesus. Na yeye ni Yesu mtukufu. And because she is part of him. Na kwa kuwa kanisa ni bibi harusi au kanisa ni sehemu yake mwenyewe. For he is a spirit. Kwa kuwa yeye ni roho. And uh, and he has given them a spirit. Na yeye amewapa roho wake. So they have a spirit. Kwa hivyo wana roho wake. The church is his spirit. Kanisa ni roho wake. The church is his glory. Kanisa ni utukufu wake. The church is his life. Kanisa ni uhai wake. The church is his holiness. Kanisa ni utakatifu wake. Why not? Kwa nini isiwe hivyo? That he might present it to himself a glorious church. Apata kujeletea kanisa tukufu. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Lisilona ila wala kunyanzi wala lolote kama hayo. But that it should be holy. Bali liwe takatifu and without blemish. Lisilo na mauwa. And remember. Nakumbuka. Hmm. See. The one who died for her. Yule aliyefia kanisa This church that is without blemish. Kanisa hili lisilo na mauwa. This church that is holy. Kanisa hili ambalo ni takatifu. According to 1 Peter. Kulingana na waraka wa kwanza wa Petro. Verse 18, chapter 1 verse 18. Mlango wa kwanza kifungu cha uh, 18. That kwamba you are redeemed. Kwamba mumekombolewa. Muli. Muli kombolewa. Verse 19. Kifungu cha 19. With the precious blood of of of, of Christ. Kwa damu ya thamani ya Kristo. As of a lamb without blemish. Kama ya mwana kondoo asiye na ila. 
on without spot. Asiye na wa. And his church na kanisa lake is without blemish. Halina mawa, halina ila. Si. Without spot. Halina mawa. Si. Why? Kwa nini? She is everything him. Kanisa ni kila kitu yeye. Kila kitu yeye. Same material, Kif same life. Kifaa kimoja, uhai mmoja. Si. Was in him before she was separated. Liliku. Kanisa lilikuwa ndani yake kabla kutolewa ndani yake. Amen, amen. Oh, that's right. Iko hivyo. Now, I wanted to finish that verse 23 in John chapter 17. Nitaka kumaliza hicho kifungu cha 23 katika Yohana mlango wa 17. Now listen to this. Sasa sikizeni hii. See? That they may be one even as we are one. Kwamba wawe mmoja kama tulivyo mmoja. I in them. Mimi ndani yao. Thou in me. Wewe ndani yangu. That they may be made perfect in one. Kwamba wakamili, wafanya wakamilike katika mmoja. And that the world may know that thou hast la, uh, has sent me. Ili umwengu ujue ya kwamba wewe ndiye ule nituma. And so forth. Na, na mengineo. And so forth and so forth. Now, na mbo mengineo. Eh, back slightly. Tukirudi nyuma kidogo. To John 14. Yohana mlangu wa kumna nne. John 14. Yohana mlangu wa kumna nne. Uh, let me read them. Uh, uh, in that John 14 Hapo katika Yohana mlango wa 14 Na verse 7 Kifungu cha 7 If he had known me he should have known my father also and from from hence for the you know him and have seen him is he not the everlasting father? Yes, is he not the prince of peace? Yes, is he not the mighty God according to Isaiah 9 6? Yes, yes, then they had seen him. Basi, Philip said unto him, Lord, she was the father and it sufficed us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you and hasn't known me? Uh, yet <coughs> hasn't thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the father. And, that, and how says thou then show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in, in, my, in the Father, and the Father in me, and that we are one? The word that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, even the works that I do, is the one who, who does. Believe not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. See. And he said there in 23 Let's start 22 Judah said unto him Not Iscariot Lord how is it that thou wilt Manifest thyself unto us And not unto the world Jesus answered and said unto him If a man love me He will keep my words And my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Nasi tutakuja kwake na kufanya makao kwake au ndani yake. How? Kivipi? At we will come. At tutakuja. How many do you have? Kwani kuna kuna wangapi? Kuna wangapi ndani yako? Now I want us to uh, let me read you a scripture here. Hebu nasomee andiko hapa. That is Galatians. Hiyo ni wa Galatia. Four. Nne. Galatians 4. Wa Galatia mlangu wa nne. Look for verse 6. Tafuta kifungu cha sita. Galatians 4, 6. And because he has sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart crying, Abba, Father. See? See? He has sent forth the spirit of his son. Now, but you remember, there is one spirit. Now, now look. In the son. In the son. That he sent his only begotten son. Alright, good. Now listen to this. Then he that is sent... He that is sent, sent of God, Alafu, yule mungu, 
He sent his only begotten son. He that is sent of God. Uh, speaking the words of God. For God given not the spirit and, uh, in a measure unto him. God is a spirit. And all that God was. Spirit. He poured into Jesus. Amen. Now listen. Now listen. According to Galatians 4 here. Then, then it followed. In him dwell the fullness of the Godhead bodily. It will please the Father that in Jesus his fullness dwell. And in John 3, verse 4, he was in Jesus in his spirit form. And the body of Jesus was a mere temple in which God lived. Amen. So, when we receive the spirit of the Son of God, and the spirit, and his spirit is the spirit of the Father, he that was in him in its, fu in its fullness. And we receive the spirit of the son. We are receiving the spirit of the father. Now Matthew 10 20. Says for it is not ye that speak. But the spirit of your father. For the spirit of the father is the spirit of the son. God was in Christ Mungu and God is a spirit na Mungu and was in Christ na Christo, reconciling the world unto himself. So you see Kwa hivyo mnaona, you see we cannot we can almost say case closed. But now look, oh God is gracious. Now, 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 you see, without the revelation of the word, you, you will miss the way. Utaikosa jia. Because you will come and pump yourself with the religion. And there you stay. But you see now. God is detailed. Mungu anena mambo kwa nini? Kwa utaratibu. It's details. God, God, God minds details. Mungu anajali. Madogo, madogo. We spoke about this years, some years back. God is detailed. Amen. Do you understand that? He minds details. Minds details. When he has given you the word, see, and he gives instructions, you must mind every detail. Kila kitu, kidogo. See? Kila kitu, kidogo. See? Amen and amen. Everything has to be in its place. Kila kitu lazima kiwe mahali pake. Kiwe mahali pake. See. Not uh, carry the ark. See. Si, si, la 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 la. La. See. It's good to take it where you are prepared for it. Ni vizuri kulipeleka mahali mmetegenezea saduku hili. But remember. Lakini kumbuka. Mind the details. Jali hayo mambo yote madogo madogo. See. They they made a new cart says the bible and put the cart on top mm. mind the details amen now let's continue i want us i want to keep you keep you long now i want us to read now another scripture here Another scripture. Andiko lingine. See. 
Now remember Sasa kumbukeni See We are talking about a man uh, a godman Kumbukeni tunaenda na juu ya Mungu mtu A man in the image of God Mtu katika sura ya Mungu a man in the image of God is not a human being. Mtu katika sura ya Mungu si mwanadamu. Mm. The man is the one he created. Mtu huyo ni yule aliyeumba. And when a man is in Christ, na mtu akiwa ndani yake Kristo, it's not the man that was born by a man and woman. Huyo si yule mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mama, baba na mama. Is a new man. Huyo ni mtu mpya. In upia. Christ Jesus. Katika Kristo Yesu. And the new man is the Holy Ghost. Na mtu huyo mpya ni Roho Mtakatifu. He created a spirit out he created a spirit. Aliumba roho by releasing part of a spirit. Kwa kuachilia sehemu ya roho wake. Today leo he has a new man. Ana mtu mpya by releasing part of himself. Kwa kuachilia sehemu yake mwenyewe. Don't forget that. Msisahau hiyo. Don't hiyo. forget don't forget those things. Msisahau mambo hayo. Msisahau mambo hayo. See? Musisahau mambo hayo. Don't forget those things. Musisahau mambo hayo. Now what us to read um, Let's read Galatians 4. Tusome, Now rather Ephesians 4. Tusome wa Efeso mlango wa 4. I can start with the um, okay. Let me start with the uh, Ephesians 2. Hebu nianze na wa Efeso mlango wa 2. Ephesians 2 wa Efeso mlango wa pili Look for verse 10 Tafuta kifungu cha kumi. Which I'm reading Ambacho nasoma Listen verse 10 Sikilizeni kifungu cha kumi. Are you ready? Mko tayari Now for we are his workmanship Maana tu kazi yake Si tu kazi yake We are his workmanship Maana tu kazi yake Amen. Do you work on yourself Je. to be a child of God? Unajifanyia kazi mwenyewe kuwa mtoto wa Mungu? We are his workmanship. Sisi tu kazi yake. Created in Christ Jesus. Tumeumbwa katika Kristo Yesu and to good works. Tutende matendo mema. We are his workmanship. Sisi tu kazi yake. We are created in Christ Jesus. Tumeumbwa katika Kristo Yesu. See, he men us are one. Yeye na sisi tummoja. He he works on you to make sure that you are in in Christ and part of Christ. Anakufanyia kazi ili kuhakikisha kwamba hakikisha kwamba uko ndani ya Kristo na Kristo na wewe ni mmoja. And you are one. We are his workmanship. Sisi tu kazi yake. Created in Christ Jesus. Tumeumbwa katika Kristo Yesu. So you see now to be in Christ Jesus. Kwa unaona kuwa katika Kristo Yesu is to be created in him. Ni kuumbwa ndani yake. See? Amen and amen. Amen. Created listen. Sikiliza. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Tumeumbwa katika Kristo Yesu tutende matendo mema. Hey. If to be created in Christ Jesus is to be given the, by the uh, is to be given the Holy Ghost so that as a child of God you are in Christ and Christ is new is in you. Kama kuumbwa katika Kristo Yesu ni kupewa Roho Mtakatifu ufanyike ili uwe Mtoto ndani yake na yeye awe ndani yako and to good works ili tutende matendo mema you can see mnaweza kuona and to good works tutende matendo mema that takes us back to what we had here hiyo inaturudisha kwa kile tulichokuwa nacho hapa now the works of the flesh are these sasa matendo ya mwili ni dhahiri na ndio haya see now Now the works of the flesh are, are manifest. Sasa matendo ya mwili ni dhahiri na ndio haya. And the fruits of the spirit are these. Na tunda la roho ni hili. Now we are ex workmanship. Sasa tu kazi yake. Created in Christ Jesus and to good works. Tumeumbwa katika Kristo Yesu tutende matendo mema. Tutende matendo mema. Mema. And what does good works? Na ni nini hutenda matendo mema? The Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu which God before ordained that we should walk in them. Ambaye toka awali 
Mungu aliyatengeneza ili twende nayo. Amen. Good works. Matendo mema. Created in Christ Jesus. Tumeumbwa katika Kristo Yesu. So what God creates kwa, is good. Kwa hivyo kile ambacho Mungu huumba Kile ambacho Mungu anaumba ni ni kizuri sana. And it's holy. Na ni kitakatifu. Has good works. Kina matendo mema. Because his act of creation is to release part of his spirit kwa, to become you. Kwa sababu tendo lake la Tendo lake la kuumba Tendo lake la kuumba ni kuachilia sehemu ya ya roho wake iwe wewe. You see? And to good works. Tutende matendo mema. And God planned that he would give birth to you. Na Mungu alipanga kwamba atakuzaa. In other words, he would create you. Yaani atakuumba wewe. Atakuzaa. Atakuzaa. He will create you and he will atakuumba pia. Atakuumba. That's right. Oh, may God help us. Mungu atusaidie. Oh, we don't have time to Let's read chapter 4. Tusome mlango wa 4. 21. Kwa Efeso mlango wa 4 kufunga cha 21. And I'm going to read now. Naenda kusoma. Ephesians 4:21. Kwa Efeso mlango wa 4 kufunga cha 21. We we can start with the 20. Tunaweza kwanza na kifungu cha 20. But you have not so much Now we have you have not so learned Christ. If so be that you have heard heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus you've been taught by him mmefundishwa na yeye mmefundishwa na yeye who does he teach yeye ufundisha nani john 6:45 yohana mlango wa 6 kifungu cha 40 who does christ teach kristo hufundisha nani john 6 yohana mlango wa 6 let's see uone hebu tuone Verse 45. If so be that you have been taught of him. Now, 45 says, It is written in the prophet. And they shall all be taught of God. If you have been taught of him, he teaches his own. He teaches his own. He teaches his own. Yeye hufundisha walio wake. He teaches the born again. Yeye hufundisha walio zaliwa mara ya pili. Now I want you to follow. Nataka mfuate. He teaches the born again. Yeye hufundisha walio zaliwa mara ya pili. He teaches his children. Yeye huwafundisha watoto wake. That's right. Now When he saw those that were coming to receive the teaching of the word from all the directions all of them were white robed people amen his children they were children of god with the white robes they were born again they were children of god they are the ones who are coming to receive the food and i want to tell you this this message is for the children not for the world see it's for the children why they are called in another way wanaitwa kwa jina lingine egos Hi. And the Holy Spirit says Remember I fed you eagles food. So this is food for the eagle. And even those he so coming to receive the bread. They were all, all means all. They were all white robes. Without the Holy Ghost, the Bible says you will not understand this message. The kind of mind. See, awatuwa. Watu wa asili and as they know the things of the spirit of god that's right oh may god help us mm. oh i want to be through so when god comes in you remember It's God himself. Ni Mungu mwenyewe. Ni Mungu mwenyewe. Your temple your body mwili wako is the temple of 
the temple of God. And you become a God man. Because the spirit of you is God. The world sees an ordinary man. They don't know. In your body. You are hiding God himself. In other words. You are a God man. Wewe ni mungu mtu. Mm. Wewe ni mungu mtu. I'll try to add quickly. Nitajaribu kumaliza araka. A God man. Mungu mtu. God promised. As he was a God man. Kama vile ye alikuwa mungu mtu. Put on a body like ours. But in the body was God himself. Akavaa mwili kama mili yetu. Lakini tena mwili huo. Alikuwa ni mungu mwenyewe. You see. Naona. Remember, Kumbuka, he promised that we would be God men. Kwamba tutakuwa Mungu watu. Au oh, yeah. watu Mungu. Watu Mungu. Watu, oh, Now, I want to read another scripture here. Nataka kusoma andiko lingine hapa. Still Ephesians 4. Bado katika Waefeso mlango wa 4. Verse 21 there. Kifungu cha 21 hapo. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. That he put off concerning the former conversation that is manner of life. The old man. Can you see Ephesians 421? Naweza kuona wa Efeso 421. That you put off your old manner of life kwamba mvue mwenendo wenu wa zamani wa maisha amen see that you put off concerning the former manner of life the old man utu wa zamani au mtu mtu wa zamani let's just call him mtu tumuite mtu the old man mtu wa zamani which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts aliyeharibika kwa kufuata tamaa za kudanganya the old man mtu wa zamani and be renewed in the spirit in the spirit of your mind na mfanywe wapya katika roho za nia zenu and we put on the new man mkamvae mtu mpya amen mtu mpya that you put what kwamba mvae nini you put on the new man mvae mtu mpya mvae mvae mtu mpya don't close there usifunge hapo i'll show you a scripture here nataka kuwaonyesha andiko hapa galatians 3 wa galatia mlango wa 3 galatians 3 wa galatia mlango wa 3 quickly kwa haraka look for us 26 Tafuta kifungu cha 26 For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus children of God Kwa kuwa nyinyi Born again nyote watoto watoto wa Mungu waliozaliwa mara ya pili For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ are put on Christ baptized into Christ Nyote mliobatizwa katika Kristo mmemfaa Kristo Mm How are you baptized into Christ? Unabatizwaje katika Kristo? By water baptism? Ubatizwa maji? No, no, by the Holy Ghost. When you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you and Christ become one. Wakati mjaza na Roho Mtakatifu na Kristo mnafanyika mmoja, mnakuwa mmoja. The daughter in you, binti ndani yako, binti yake ndani yako. The son of God in you, mwana wa Mungu ndani yako. Is the Holy Ghost? Ni Roho Mtakatifu. In your father is the Holy Ghost. Baba yako ni Roho Mtakatifu. In you is the Holy Ghost. Ndani yako ni Roho Mtakatifu. The Holy Ghost Your Holy Ghost is in the Father and the Holy Ghost of the Father is in your spirit. Roho Mtakatifu wako ako ndani ya Roho Mtakatifu wa Baba na Roho Mtakatifu wa Baba yuko ndani ya roho yako. And you and the Father are one. Na wewe na Baba ni mmoja. Mm. Mu mmoja. Now. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. See? Amen. Amen. 
Sim. Now verse 27. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Can you read that? Amen. Amen. Baptized with the Holy Ghost. You are put on Christ. To, to, to put on Christ is to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. I want, you, I want us to go back to what you are reading then. 24 verse Ephesians 4. Listen. Now, let me quote that Galatians. As many of you are, as have been baptized into Christ, you are in Christ, you are put on Christ. You've been baptized with the Spirit. He is in you and the Spirit is in you. See, he is in you and you are in him. No. See. And that he put on the new man. Who you? The new man. It's the same, it's the same man of Eden. It's the same man that we read in 1 Corinthians that you put on the new man. What is the new man? We said he's created after God. See? Now listen. He put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Which after God is created you put on this new man whom after God has created who is created as to be who is created in the likeness of God yeah, righteousness and truth wait a minute wait a, wait a minute who after God is created in righteousness he is created after God God is righteous and this fellow fasted and hungered for righteousness he hungered he pleaded with the righteous God to come into him. And he received righteousness. He received God. And true holiness. Na utakatifu wa kweli. Because that righteousness he received as God himself is the righteous. Haki hiyo aliopokea ni mungu mwenye alie mwenye haki. And that God is a, is a spirit. Na mungu huyo ni roho. He is the Holy Ghost. Yeah, so by receiving God's righteousness. Kwa kwa haki ya mungu, by receiving the righteous God. Kwa, kwa mungu haki, by becoming part of the righteous God. Kwa ya mungu haki, he, he was filled with righteousness. Na haki. He, was, he hungered for it. Ali, and he hungered for it. Until he was filled. Filled with righteousness. And the righteousness is God. And God is a spirit. Now listen. So, God being a spirit. And he was filled with God's righteousness. Which is, he was filled with the Holy Ghost. Then he, and he became a child of God. His righteousness is God. And his holiness. Is true holiness. Amen. 
For he received the true God. Kwa kuwa alimpokea Mungu wa kweli. He became part of the true God. Alifanyika sehemu ya Mungu wa kweli. And his holiness is God's own holiness. For there is only one type of holiness. Na utakatifu wake ni ule utakatifu wa Mungu na kuna aina moja tu ya nini? Ya utakatifu. Jagon. Fumbo hizo. Jagon and Jagon. Ni fumbo tupu. Si. Do you see? Now you see. Do you see? Sasa mnaona? You can see. You, you can keep that Bible away there. Uweze kuweka Biblia hiyo pale and preach your own things. Na uhubiri mambo yako mwenyewe. You will miss things. Utakosa mambo. You will miss God. Utamkosa Mungu. Because what he was you to be is all recorded where? Kwa sababu here. Kile anataka uwe chote kimeanakiliwa hapa. Here. Hapa katika Biblia hii. And see here there here there here there. Hapa kidogo pale kule kidogo. Now you put it there. Sasa unaweka pale. Say hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah. Jesus is good. Yesu ni mwema. And Jesus died for you. Na Yesu alikufia. Believe in Jesus. Muamini Yesu. He died for you. Alikufia. He will take away your sins. Ataondoa dhambi zako. He will bless your business. Atabariki biashara yako. Hallelujah. He is good. Yeye ni mwema. He said you will not be the head, that till but the head. Alisema wewe utakuwa mkia bali utakuwa kiu. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. See. And you are there and you are there and you are shout until you lose your voice. Na uko pale unapiga kelele mpaka unapoelewa. After that? Baada hapo You say now? Nasema sasa. Come close here we pray. Njoni hapa karibu tuone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus will bless you. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You come here we pray. Jesus will bless you. Njoni hapa tuombe Yesu atawabariki. You been going through a problem in your business? Umekuwa ukipitia shida katika biashara yako? Just come close here. Jo, come here brother. Jo, Sister hapa, come here. Dada njo. See. And the meeting is over. Na mkutano umeisha. And the next time you are there. Another time another time. See. Then you ask how many wants to be blessed? See. Raise up your hand. If you have got problem. With your with your business. Your problem in your place of work. Raise up your hand. Say Jesus hear me now. And if you want to confess your sins. Jesus is here to save you. Today. Leo. You are going to have your name written in the book of life. Just put your heart. Jesus loves you. Are the meeting is over. No sir. Hapana. <laughs> It's hidden here. Yote imefichwa hapa. The way to life. Njia ya uzima. Few there be that find it. Ni wachache waionayo. Because it's hidden. Kwa sababu imefichwa. It's narrow. Ni nyembamba. And the door into Christ is narrow. Na mlango wa kuingia katika Kristo umesonga. Umesonga. Few there be that find it. Ni wachache waonao. Oh the Lord bless you very much. Bwana awabariki sana. Let me read you the last scripture here because Hebu nasoma hapo la mwisho. I'm sure that suffices. Na na hakika hiyo inatosha. Naamini hiyo inatosha. See. <coughs> oh, may God help us. Mungu atusaidie. First First let's read uh, let's read from uh, Mark chapter 4 I think. Tusome Mark na, four, nadhani Marko mlango wa 4 I'm going to have you free soon. Tawachilia hivi punde. Mark 4. Marko mlango wa 4. Re remember. Kumbuka. Jesus came here. Yesu alikuja hapa. And became a man. Na akafanyika mtu. But he was a god man. Lakini alikuwa Mungu mtu. And he said, Na akasema, Now, uh, I am going. Naenda, but, I'm, uh, but I'll come. Lakini nitarudi. You will become you are also going to become a god man. Nyinyi wewe pia utafanyika Mungu. Nyinyi pia mtafanyika Mungu. Mungu Mungu mtu. Mungu, uh, Mungu mtu. Now, chapter 4 of Acts. Mlango uh, of uh, Mark. Mlango wa 4 kitabu cha Marko. I'll read from verse 35 quickly. Nitasoma kutoka kifungu cha 65 kwa haraka. Listen. Sikiliza. At the same day when the even or evening was come, he said unto unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. See, that's a way to take him. Hivyo ndivyo hiyo ndio njia kumchukua. You take him as 
Yes. Unamchukua jinsi alivyo. Oh and he is the word. Na yeye ni neno. If he touches on your hair sister, akigusa nywele yako dada, he is the word. Yeye ni neno. Take him as he is. Mchukue jinsi alivyo. I want a God that's not, that's not interfere with my own way of dressing. Nataka unamtaka Mungu ambaye haingilii. Haingilii vile ninavyovaa. Take him as he is. Mchukue jinsi alivyo. He is the word. Yeye ni neno. Amen. Amen. As he is. Jinsi ali vile ali. Is the word. Yeye ni neno. If what if he looks this way, if he look he looks this way one side of him. Kama sura yake upande mmoja inakaa hivi, just take him as he is. Mchukue vile alivyo. Amen. See. Amen and amen. Take him as he is. Mchukue vile alivyo. Vile alivyo. Alivyo. Take him as he is. Mchukue vile alivyo. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, may God help us. Mungu atusaidie. And there are, there were also with him other little ships. There arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and say unto him master carest not thou that we perish see it was so urgent it was so dangerous that they didn't they didn't wake him up politely Kwaheshima. Kwaheshima. You don't care. Hey, hey. Maybe they should. Hey, hey. You don't care when we are perishing. Because it's, it's, it's him who put them in. <laughs> oh, kwa, 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 kwa ziwa. In the lake. You don't care. You don't care. There is a message I told you here to go and study. It's called Unaitwa Calling Jesus on the scene. Kumuita Yesu katika hali. hali. Oh, another message. Au ujumbe mwingine Testimony on the sea. Ushuhuda pale baharini. Ushuhuda baharini. Hmm. Do you know what? Unajua nini? That message. Ujumbe huo Testimony on the sea. Ushuhuda baharini. It is talking about the condition of the church today. Unanena juu ya hali ya kanisa leo. Amen. Juu ya kanisa? Leo. Leo. You know they had come from a very successful campaign. Unajua walikuwa metoka katika mikutano ilio faulu sana. See? Very successful campaign. Mikutano ilio faulu sana. See? That's right. See? And then Alafu, they were talking of many things that Jesus had done. See? Oh, Peter won't let John finish. Oh, Peter John won't, won't allow uh, Matthew uh, finish. Everyone was excited. When all of a sudden, Alafu, gafla, everything seemed very calm. Kila kitu kitulivu, Oh, the, lake, the sea was very calm. Oh, sea was very All of a sudden, Lakini, trouble struck. Shida and let me tell you, brethren, these things are good. Mambu haya ni but one of these days, moja everything seems calm. Kila kitu kuna but one of these days, moja trouble is going to strike. Shida That's right. Kweli. And the church Na kanisa is coming to desperation. Litafikia kufika mwisho kwake. See. Amen and amen. It's going to come to a showdown. Kuta kutokea mchuano. See. Testimony on the sea. Ushuhuda baharini. Calling Jesus on the scene. Kumuita Yesu katika hali. See, you know what? Mnajua nini? You know, those of you 
Those of you who get these messages and study. Wale wenu ambao huwa mnachukua jube hizi na kujifunza. Wale ambao mnatafuta jube hizi na See? You have seen how sweet it is. Umeona jinsi zilivyo. Si mbona pia hizi jube zilivyo tam? Especially when you now study the message with some understanding. Hasa sasa ukijifunza ujumbe fulani ukiwa na ufahamu. Very very sweet. Ni tamu kweli Indeed kweli. very sweet. Kwa kweli ni tamu. You feel kweli. like you are there. Unasikia kama ulikuwa pale. And then the aim of the Holy Spirit speaking that message you catch it. Alafu lengo la Roho Mtakatifu kunena ujumbe huo pia unashika una nini? Lengo lenye. Lengo because it's all directed to us. Kwa kwa yote imeelekezwa kwetu. Yote inaelekezwa kwa kwetu. Kwetu is we the Holy Spirit speaking to. Ni sisi ambaye Roho Mtakatifu anaonenea. Yeah, ni sisi tunaonenea na Roho Mtakatifu. Sweet. Tamu. Then you You feel it's real bread. Alafu nasikia kwamba ni mkate. Ukiangalia ujumbe wewe ukisoma nasikia ni mkate wewe. Wenyewe. It's real bread. Ni mkate halisi, mkate wenyewe. Sure. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. And he said unto them Why are you so fearful? Amen. You know what? Najua nini? Let me show you something. Hebu naonyeshe kitu. If you look at the end of verse that 5. Ukiangalia mwisho wa kifungu cha 35. He had said, Alikuwa amesema, Let us pass over unto the other side. Period. Hebu tuende ile ngambo nyingine. Inasemaje? Ah, let me. End of 35. Yes. Na tuvuke mpaka ngambo. Period. That is amen. Hiyo ni amina. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Bingu na nchi zitapita. But his word cannot pass away. Lakini neno lake haliwezi kupita kamwe. There is no way he said. Hakuna mahali alisema. Peradventure. Pengine. See. Simple sentence. Sentence fupi rahisi. We are going across. Tunavuka ngambo. I will take you I'm taking you to a land flowing with milk and honey. Na wapeleka katika nchi inayotiririka maziwa na asali. The land of the Jebusites, the, the whatever. Nchi wa Jebusi na ama kabila mengine. And a mighty full stop. Na full stop kubwa. It's up to you to believe that. Ni juu yenu kuamini hiyo. See or no see. Kuna bahari au? Kuna bahari au? Hakuna bahari. Jordan or no Jordan? Jordani au hakuna Jordani? Desert or no desert? Jangwa au hakuna jangwa? What he spoke? Alichonena. Was not man's word? Haikuwa maneno ya mwanadamu, it was God's word. Yalikuwa ni maneno ya Mungu mwenyewe. You just hang on what he said. Ninginia yeah. tu kwa hiyo. Well, there is no water around. Hang on what okay, he said. Kuna maji kunywa wewe ninginia. I kunyo. know there is no water. Najua kuna maji. That's fear coming there. Na hiyo ni fear anayokuja pale. With the soldiers we are askari wake to try to destroy us. Kujaribu kutuangamiza. But I'm I'm going by his word. Lakini naenda kwa neno lake. He never talked about fear coming after us. Hakuna hela juu ya farao akitufua. He never said Just will finish us in the wilderness. He said we are going across to that land. Faith the prophet says. Imani nabii anasema has big muscles ina misuli mikubwa and hair on the chest. Na manywele kifuani. Amen. That's what coming to the church one of these days. Hicho ndicho kinajia kanisa moja kweli. It's called perfect faith for the perfect God. Inaitwa imani kamilifu. Imani kamilifu ya Mungu mkamilifu. That's why it speaks doesn't cry. Hiyo hiyo hunena haili. Imani aina hiyo inanena hai. Haili. Haili. See. A super sense. Ni hisi kuu. Ni hisi kuu. Au ni ile hisi kuu. Amen. Amen and amen. Let us go across. Hebu tuvuke ngambo. That's why on, when all this whatever happened. Ndio maana haya yote yote yalipotendeka. Oh, he was asleep. Wewe alikuwa amelala. 
Because he finished. Kwa sabu, maliza, he spoke and it's over. Alinena, ikaisha, na devils or no devils. Na mapepo, au na mapepo. Storm or no storm. Kwe kimbunga, au hakuna kimbunga. Au dhoruba. So, and when he rose. Na alipuamuka. He didn't lecture them first. Hakuwa patia msomo kwanza. Hakuwa somea kwanza. <laughs> he first of all finished the trouble because <laughs> he, knew they are, he knew they are in panic. Kwanza alimaliza tabu kwa kwa alijua. He wa, knew they are no faith. Wajua hawana imani. Hakuwa na imani. Mm-hmm. Peter later. Petro baadae. Understood why Jesus slept in the storm. Alielewa ni kwa nini yeso nilala katika dhoruba. When he was arrested, yeah, he was James had been killed. When he was arrested, and the Jews were very happy. Then they went for Peter. He was put in prison, pending death the following day. Now he had Jesus in him. Sasa alikuwa na Yesu ndani yake. And he slept. Na kalala. Knowing that tomorrow is his last A, day. Akijua kwa vacation siku yangu ya mwisho. You never see the sun again. Hata unajua tena. Tomorrow is the last day. Kesho ndio siku ya mwisho. But he he afforded sleep. Lakini ange sahi ange sasa. Ali pata usingizi. Mm. And he slept so deeply. Akalala usingizi mnono. Until when the God sent angels. Mpaka Mungu alipotuma malaika. Are they awoke him? Hey. Wakamwamsha akampiga piga hapo. What do you want? Oh, mnataka nini? Wake up. Amka. See. The shackles fell off. Minyororo iliyofunga yeye miguu ikawa ya nini? Ikaanguka. See. Follow us. Tufuate. They went through the, the first gate. Wakapita lango la kwanza. Guarded by four soldiers. Ilo lindo na askari wanne. It opened. Likafunguka. And shut. Na likajifunga lenyewe. The soldiers didn't see them pass. Askari hawa kwa wana wakipita. And they were not asleep. Na hawa kwa melala. They came to the second gate. Wakanya kwa langwa la pili. It opened. Likajifungua. And shut. Likajifunga. Four. Four. Four gates. Malango manne. Guarded by 16 soldiers. Yali walindo na askari kumina sita. And it was at night. Na likuwa ni usiku. When they led him out. Walipo mongoza inje. They told him. Wakamwambia. Go continue with the gospel. Eza wendele na injili. And they left him. No wakamuacha. Peter. Petro. Peter couldn't believe he thought he was asleep. Petro hakuwa mina likuwa na fikiri ya melala. Si. Fili ni ndoto. Hmm. It caused the life of those soldiers. Ili sababisha vifo vya wale askari. See. How did he how did he go out? Alitokaje? Because when they came for him, kwa kwa alipokuja kumchukua, every door was intact. Milango yote ilikuwa imefungwa. See. But when they went in, lakini walipoingia, there was no prisoner. Hakukuwa na mfungwa. See. Maabusu hakuwa. See. Oh, he could understand why Jesus slept. Petro angelewa ni kwa nini Yesu alilala? It's a business of death. Katikati ya kifo. Trouble. Shida. Danger. Hatari. See. You see? Now. So, he first of all took care of their panic. Kwa hiyo jambo la kwanza alishughulikia taharuki yao. Akashughulikia akalishughulikia shida yao. Mm-hmm. See, their panic. Taharuki yao. See. And then turned on them. Alafu akaogea akawauliza. Why are you so far? Yafu. Mm-hmm. See. Ikele leo tena ya nini pita? Mm-hmm. All this what is I do? Hii ghasia yote ni nini? Fujo. See. How is it that you have no faith? Bona. Bona hamna imani. It, it, I told you we are going across. Did, did you hear me talk about the storm? Did my word talk about death? What did I say? Lord you said we are going across. That is it to say. Amen. And when God said there is go- this message is going to give him a bride. So I don't care. I don't care how many preachers come backing. Sijali ni waahuri wa ngazi wa kujua wanakuja wakibweka. We are going to have a few Holy Ghost filled 
Brothers and sisters Tutakuwa na ndugu na dada waliojazwa na nini? Na Roho Mtakatifu. Period. Tosha. That's what we believe. Hiyo ndio tunaamini. The bride is going to be there. Bibi harusi atakuweko. She is predestined to be there. Atakusudiwa kuweko. Backing or not backing. Listen preachers. Kuweka ama hakuna. Nini haubiri msikilize? Waubiri sikilizeni. You better shut up now. Afadhali mnyamaze sasa. Because it's been spoken. Kwa sababu imenenwa. Imenenwa it shall come to pass. Na itatimia. We hang on that. Tunaingilia kwa hivyo. We have no doubt. Do you believe there's going to be a bride? Je, mnaamini kutakuwa kuna bibi harusi? Who do the Holy Ghost? Aliyejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. And before she goes up. Na kabla hajakuliwa. We are going to raise the dead. Tafufua wavu. Tutafua wavu. We are going to create legs that are cut. Tutaumba miguu iliyokatwa. A ministry exactly like that of Christ for it is Christ in us. Na huduma kama huduma kama ile ya Yesu Kristo kwa kama ana ni yeye ndani yetu. Cling to his word. Ninginia kwa neno lake. Wacha maneno ya watu. This is this are not the words of a human being. Hayasi maneno ya mwanadamu. It's spoken. Imeneno. It's written. Imeandikwa. It has come to pass. Itatimia. It will, that word will not return to him void. Neno hilo litamrudia bure. It will ta, return to him with a bride. Litamrudia likiwa na bibi harusi. Si. What is all this? Nice. Nini kelele hii yote? Si. Why are you so fearful? Kwa nini mmekuwa waoga? How is it that you have no faith? Nini? Kwa nini hamna imani? Si. Are they feared exceedingly and said one to another? Wakaingia na hofu kuu na wakaambiana. Wakaulizana. Wakaulizana. What man of man is this? Huyu ni mtu aina gani? Man. Mtu. God man. You see so <laughs> in him was the fullness of the godhead ndani yake ulikuwa na utimilifu wote wa Mungu god was in christ Mungu alikuwa ndani yake ya kristo but here lakini hapa he looked like a man alionekana kama listen here he looked like a man hapa alionekana kama mtu but he remember the bible says god was in christ lakini in the man biblia inasema Mungu alikuwa ndani ya kristo let mtu. me tell you he has promised to make you god men ameahidi kutufanya kuwafanya wa mungu wa huh? wa miungu miungu wa wanadamu see that even the wind and the sea obey him hivi kwamba upepo na bahari zinamtii lions and elephants and whatever obeyed adam simba na na ndovu na kila mnyama zile vile wali, 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 wali mtii adam si si god men wanadamu miungu si let me read you one or two scriptures then we close hebu nasomea maandiko sehemu moja au mbili alafu tufunge oh may the lord help us mungu atusaidie I want to, I, I want to read uh, Nataka kusoma I want to read Acts 11 Nataka kusoma matunda mitume Brother let me start with Acts 14 Nataka kusoma matunda mitume mlango wa 14 Acts 14 Matunda mitume mlango wa 14 Let me read a few verses there Tasoma vifungu vichache hapo Acts 14 Matendo ya mitume mlango wa 14 Man mm. man with the God in him Mtu aliye na Mungu ndani yake Mtu aliye na Mungu ndani yake Si Now in, in chapter 14 of Acts Hapo mlango wa 14 kitabu cha matendo ya mitume uh, Let me just pick one verse there Hebu nichukue kifungu kimoja hapo Si That is Acts 14 Hiyo ni matendo ya mitume mlango wa 14 <coughs> Let me just read from 6 quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. 
And they, were, and they were aware of it and fled into Lystra and Derbe, cities of Lycania, and unto the region that lies round about. And there, and there they preached the gospel. And there set a certain man at Lystra import, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had failed to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he leaped and walked. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they read up their voices, saying in the speech of Lycania, The gods are come and down to us in the likeness of men. And they called Barnabas Jupiter. You remember those Babylonian gods? <laughs> eh? One of them was Jupiter. <laughs> See? And Paul, they called Mercurius because he was a chief speaker. <laughs> Then the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, uh, brought oxen and uh, gallards into the gates and would have done sacrifice with the people, which when the apostle Paul and B Barnabas and Paul heard of it, they rent their clothes and ran into amongst the people crying out, say, and saying, Sirs, why do we do these things? We also are men of like passions with you and preach unto you that you should turn from these vanities unto the living God which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein. See? And so forth. They said gods are come to us. Let me tell you brethren one of these days Gods are going to be seen. Miungu itaonekana. Miungu ita? Itaonekana. Itaonekana. See, the one that gods, what? how 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 see you Miungu, but God was in them. Lakini Mungu alikuwa ndani yao. Amen. See, God men. Mm, uh, Actually, miungu, those what, those miungu. heathens, wale makafiri. See, they saw God men. Waliona Although they could see there were men like them, but they, to them, they took them to be more than human beings. And let me tell you, God is going to come. This church is going with a great shaking up of the wall. Amen. And it's going to happen. Na hiyo itatimia, itatukia. God men. Paul. Paul. They saw God men. Waliona watu miungu. Waliona wa, miungu ilio kuwa na sura ya nini? Ya watu. Ya wanadamu. See? Like Jesus. Kama Yesu. Jesus was God. Yesu walikuwa mungu. See? And yet a man. Na huku mwanadamu. Na huku mwanadamu. See? We know you are a man sent from God. Or come from God. Listen, they said, we know, uh, Nicodemus said, we know you are a man from God. Let me tell you. To him, he was a man who came from God and left God somewhere. Let me tell you, he was God. Among them. God was in Christ. Mungu alikuwa ndani ya Christo. See. Outwardly was a man. Kwa inje alikuwa inje. mtu. Inje. Inje alikuwa mtu. But in was God. Lakin ndani alikuwa ni mungu mwenyewe. Ndani alikuwa? Mungu mwenyewe. Mungu mwenyewe. God men. Wa mungu walio kwa nasura ya minadamu. Amen. Amen. Mm. See. No wonder. Si ajabu. 
in chapter in Acts 11 Katika matendo ya mitume mlango wa 11 Acts 11 Matendo ya mitume mlango wa 11 Acts 11, 26, it says, Matina mitume mlangu wa kumina moja, kifungu cha shiru na sita, nasema, We start with 25. Tutanza na kifungu cha shiru na tano. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year, they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people the disciples who are called Christians first in Antioch. Antioch yeah. <coughs> first called Christians. Ah, no, no. They saw in these people how Dani they saw in these people something kitu. that was in the likeness of of Christ. Kilicho fanana na Christo. Kilicho fanana na nani? Na Christo. Na Christo. Amen. Let's start and pray. Simame ili tuombe. Oh, may God help us. Mungu atusaidie. God. Miungu. See. Ma, a man in the likeness of God. Mtu. Uh, now listen, don't forget. A man in the likeness of God. Mtu katika sura ya mungu. Is the inner man Ni ule mutu wandani, created by God na mungu, by, a, by an act of God releasing part of himself into that, that body? La mungu, la ya roho wake, ya mwili huo. And making the body the temple of his spirit. Na mwili kuwa la roho wake. So outside looks like a man. Kwa hivyo inje, kama mwanadamu, but there is a new man. Kuna mtu mpia. In the likeness of God. Sura ya mungu, his own spirit in a man. Roho wake mwenyewe, ya Let us pray. Tuombe. Let us pray. Tuombe. We give all the glory to Jesus. Until of his love, until of his love, we give all the glory to Jesus. His until of his wonderful love. Only be. Only believe all things are possible. Only believe. Only believe. Father, we thank you very much, Lord, that when you speak, Lord, it's over. Help us, Lord, to believe. We remember that man, Heavenly Father, that you taught to believe. 
And he said, Yes, Lord, have thou mine unbelief. Precious Lord, there is the faith of Jesus Christ that he plants in a man. And that man becomes a God as Moses, as you told Moses. And his words become not, no longer the words of a man, but he becomes now just a mouthpiece of the Holy Spirit. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you very much, Lord, and pray that you make each one person here a God man. A, ma a, a God clothed in flesh. Amen. Heavenly Father, we magnify your holy name. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. Father, give us the understanding that we need and help us to cling to thy promises. Help us, Lord, not to look at the surroundings, not to consider the situation, Lord, but only consider one thing, what the word of God says. Thank you, Father. Now, Lord, as we dismiss, we pray, thou, Father, that you keep every brother, every sister, and if you tarry, Lord, and there be another day, oh, spread your table for us, Lord. Grant these things is our prayer. We commit all our brethren unto thee wherever they are in the world over. Yes. Oh Lord, keep each one of them. Yes. Preserve each one of them. Amen. And in trouble, yes. Heavenly Father, oh God, appear Heavenly Father yes. and give great relief Amen. to thy children. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. God bless you very much. Bwana awabariki sana. Tiluimi. 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 Tiluimi.